So you're building out your chameleon enclosure, but you're not sure what to put at the bottom. Let me help you out. In my opinion, there's really two different substrates or bottoms you should have for a chameleon enclosure. The first one is what I do, which is keeping a bare bottom with potted plants. So it's gonna be that plastic floor or PVC floor that comes with the enclosure. Just have that all by itself down at the bottom. And then I will just have potted plants to hang out on the bottom to give my chameleon things to climb on. The bare bottom makes it very easy to clean up poop or bugs that fall down there. You don't have to worry about bacteria growing. The only thing with having a bare bottom, the biggest issue that people run into is what to do with the water that pools down at the bottom from like misting or having drippers. If you have a sufficient amount of live plants, like potted live plants at the bottom, that should be able to catch the majority of the water. Just like position your dripper so that it drips into one of those plants. If that's still not able to collect the water, what you can do is set up some sort of drainage system. I have holes drilled into the bottom of the PVC floor that I will put the potted plants towards the center of so the water will pull down into those holes, which will go down into a little tube, which will get caught by a bucket. That's the drainage system that I have set up. I'm sure you can get creative and come up with something on your own. The second substrate or bottom that I would recommend is bioactive. So bioactive is basically creating like a little ecosystem of soil for your community. So this is gonna have things like isopods and springtails, basically teeny, teeny, tiny bugs that are able to eat like the poop and particles that get like the form in the soil. So this will have like the soil layer, a drainage layer, I don't have one for my chameleons because the bioactive bottom would raise my humidity levels higher than what my chameleons need. So it's not a great fit for me, but it's super easy for cleanup because you don't have to clean up any of the poop because the isopods and springtails will eat it. It's a great, great option. I will link down in the description box below a whole resource. This is a really great blog that was written by one of the chameleon forum members that goes step by step on how to build a bioactive chameleon enclosure. So I will leave that there for you guys if that's something you want to consider. So we went over two solid options. One, bare bottom with potted plants or going fully bioactive. Those are great options. Some things that are not great options are things like repti bark or eco earth, especially the bark chips or any kind of soil because you're increasing the risk or chances of your chameleon becoming impacted. Say a bug lands at the bottom of the enclosure, your chameleon goes to eat the bug and they ingest some of that soil or bark there's an increased risk that they're going to get impacted and be unable to pass that, which can be fatal. So why run that risk when there's no added benefit to putting that soil or repti bark down at the bottom? Another one I commonly see is a repti carpet or that green fuzz that comes with the chameleon kit. I know it comes with a kit, but it's not recommended because if your chameleon poops on that and then you go to clean up that poop, you may be leaving behind poop particles, which can grow bacteria, especially if it's in a damp, damp moist, environment so that's not recommended. Hopefully now this will help you give us some ideas when you're building out the bottom of your chameleon enclosure. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions or comments down below. Feel free to subscribe so you know when I post a new video and you can follow Neptune and all my chameleons on Instagram at Neptune the Chameleon. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye! Wanna say bye to everybody? You look crazy. <laughs>